and welcome to Musicians Wanted, the only show here on Emerson campus that brings bands from in and around Boston to play here live in the studio. I'm your host, Jenny, and today we're fortunate enough to have a band, a band who is not only has unique lyrics, but sounds just as fun. Please welcome Mailbox, starting us off with no elbows. a lot. Now, please don't leave your seat as we go off to a break and we'll be back with more of Musicians Wanted here with Mailbox. Exercised lately. Till you explode. Thank you. Is Mailbox the first Call segment? Like eight hours a week and get this free phone cradle. Use it 12 hours and get a speaker phone. Use it 15 hours and get this cool headset. Or stay on the phone 20 hours a week. And get a pasty complexion. Flabby body. And, and a great, great new nickname, nickname at school. Exercised lately. Now, welcome back. It's time to head out on the streets with Irving and see what mailboxes are really about. Okay, so the name of the band is Mailbox, and this is a mailbox, but there's very little in common. So what is the significance of the mailbox? What's the difference between one mailbox and another? What should I look for in a mailbox? I mean, tell me more about these mailboxes. This mailbox has been dented. A rusty mailbox. How a lot of the uh, natives of Beacon Hill have a tendency to be schizophrenic. 
He's uh, one of the better ones. I've seen some people with like 13 or 14 different personalities. This guy just has seven, so he has uh, different mailboxes for each of his personalities. What you'll notice is very interesting about this one is that there's nowhere to put the mail. Here we see a mailbox that actually has a place to put the mail. I, I didn't get enough junk mail. You can come to one of these. They're located, they're provided by the city, and they're free. You open it up, it's kind of like a mailbox, but you get to take whatever you want. Now this is not a mailbox. This is a fire hydrant. Not a mailbox. This isn't a mailbox either. An overstuffed mailbox. It's just a mailbox. Okay, now we're at the Massachusetts State House in downtown Boston. And you'll notice, if you look around, that there are no mailboxes here. This would explain why all your letters to the congressmen and senators never get answered. A whole lot of mailboxes. Uh-oh. Post office people are here. We better get out of the way. bugs with my magnifying glass I like to watch them squirm they turn red and then they turn black those little bugs they can't fight back those bugs 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 now I spent a lot of time down in Florida and if there's two things they have a lot of down there it's bugs and old people now it's a common urban myth amongst elementary school kids that if every time you squash a bug or squish it or, or burn it up to pieces with a uh, magnifying glass, then another old person dies. It should come as no surprise, as it's no coincidence, that Florida also has the largest population of insect farms sponsored by, you got it, retirement communities. But don't get me wrong, the bugs aren't happy about this one bit. legend from your childhood perhaps oh well I can't give away all my secrets but yeah you know there's there's a lot of urban myths and legends around and uh, I try to delve into them and find out more about what's going on with the youth of today that's and, great uh, it's all about getting in touch with the kids you know yeah it's really delightful well listen if I wanted to find your music where would I go well uh, I have it in a few stores around town but the best place to check it out. Uh, you can hear samples of it in MP3 or real audio format at uh, our website, which is superpickle.com. <laughs> and it's, it's spelled just as it sounds, superpickle.com. And as I said, there's all kinds of sound files. You can order the CDs right from there. <clears throat> and uh, you can also read up on different stories about us, You know, read the lyrics, stories about the songs. A lot of fun stuff there, a lot of good pictures also. That sounds great. Yep. Um, I believe we're gonna head to a break. And after this, we'll be back with more from Mailbox. Here's my nephew Scruff, about to run into trouble again. Hey, Bobo, where's your video game? In here. Oh, no, look after at this. this. After the, it's my dad. Like, so you want to hold it? What will I do? You'll see, but that's not the only problem he has. 
Hey, here's a shortcut. Not down there, Square. I don't think it's safe. Come on, the coast is clear. I'm not taking a chance, Lance. Oh, no. Well, well, hello, dog face. Come to give us your sneakers. Uh-oh, trouble again, Scruff. What are you gonna do now? I don't know. If you get my new comic activity book, More Adventures with Scruff, you'll find out what you can do about bullies, drugs, and guns. Am I the hero again? You'll see. And you'll see lots of games. Cool. For your free copy of my new comic activity book, write Scruff McGruff, Chicago, Illinois, 60652. Scruff McGruff, Chicago, Illinois, 60652. And you'll be helping take a bite out of crime. I want it, I want it. Hi, and welcome back to Musicians Wanted. We're here with Mailbox, and I believe the next song you're going to play has an interesting story to it. Yeah, um, before, uh, well, actually, shortly after the internet, uh, it's funny we were talking about that just a minute ago, shortly after the internet was completed and ready to go by the U.S. military, they decided to take a little step further, so they contacted a uh, hippie commune in West Virginia, and what this uh, hippie commune had done is they had kind of tapped into the, the universal um, psyche of everyone on earth, you know, getting their minds and right. their souls, and they just kind of sat in a circle, and they just kind of they zoned out, and they got in tune with it. So what the military thought was, well, let's take that and our internet and stick them together so that from anyone's computer, you could tap into anyone else's soul, and from anyone's soul, you could tap into anyone else's computer. Unfortunately, the... Uh, the uh, project fell through or something Thank happened. God. We don't know. We don't know. It's one of those, you know, top secret things. I'll probably get shot on my way out of the studio because I've told everyone about this. But don't laugh. You guys are going to get shot too. But, um, Great. you know, so I wrote a song about it because the truth is out there and I have to spread it, you know. And so it's what's my the, job. What's the title of this? It, it's called the San Antonio, West Virginia Energy Malaprop Incident. Whoa, well, here we go. So, uh, Look out, government. And this, and this is how it goes. There's a little tune called San Antonio, West Virginia, Energy Malaprop Incident. In an economical pandemental director from the top on the San Antonio, West Virginia, Energy Malaprop. He said readjustable non-combustible equipment is to be used. Be mandatorily and it's usually constructed with a muse. With this non-essentially super slush requirements being made. So geometrical hydroelectric conducive lemonade. The existentially motivated interest will be served. Like the asymmetrical architecture that gets on people's nerves. Or well, the hypothetical imaginary system would go bust. The diabolical ignoramus betrayed the public trust. So in an anti-partisan editorial science did suggest That the absolute zero superconduction would actually be the best These are the situations when artists get elected Some sort of fluctuations in just what gets protected There'd be rivers on the sun Mountains on the city Nobody to get anything done but it sure would be pretty When the overstatic perpetrators heard about the plan The ritualistic genuflection to summon the good god Pan Who deactivated appropriations for the scientific set But kind of pathetic materialized schooling the marionettes He said preposterously incorrigible mindsets such as yours Are certifiably non-productive contagious little sores Vortex, atmosphere, interpolation arrive on different planes Gross evolutionary homeostasis takes up half the brain These are the situations when logic gets confiscated Some subtle fluctuations in what gets delegated There'd be rivers on the sun Mountains on the city Nobody to get anything done But it sure would be pretty Educational malnutrition was noticed then and there As psychosomatic efflorescence appeared out of thin air So a diplomatical ingenuity consortium met to fool Their quantum is a crocodilic solution to the role These are the situations when everyone works together Some subtle fluctuations to make it all work better There'd be rivers on the sun
Now, while we take care of those big looking government figures that are here in the studio, we're going to send you out onto the streets with Mailbox. I picked up playing organ when I was really young, just because I just wanted to play something. Uh, and it, I guess it was really just a matter of whatever it was, whatever medium it was that struck me first by chance, happened to be music. And they cry to their moms. The kind of music I make is not going to be, uh, not going to sell millions. You know, I, I accepted this years ago. I'm not going to change because it's what I enjoy doing. I, you know, I. I I have my need for the vehicle of my ideas, but mostly I have a need to, you know, get away from work and have some fun with it. I don't like to, um, I don't like to restrict myself to like the traditional band format where you have four or five members, they get together and they put a song together, because you end up getting the same kind of groove over and over again. Mm -hmm. I like to approach each song uh, as its own unique project. Oh, you don't listen to me. One day you won't be so lucky. I like it to be intelligent, daring, and fun. So it, all three of those elements are very key. You know, mm -hmm. I want people to think. I want them to, you know, push beyond what they're normally used to, and I want them to have fun with it. I recorded completely at home. I had, you know, my own guitar. I used. Uh, a computer-based recording and sequencing program, and then I mastered it. Uh, I didn't do the mastering, but basically everything from production to recording to mixing, I uh, I did that all at home. You know, people just the internet community, if you will, are are pretty tight. When they find something they like, they tell all their friends about it, and that's really where I've been getting a lot most of my feedback. So I'm probably going to be focusing mostly on that. Hi, and welcome back to Musicians Wanted. Boy, it's sure good to get rid of those big, ugly characters that came in here. Um, listen, I want to know where you're headed and what you're doing right now. Well, hopefully I'm headed to the big time. No, but uh, these days I'm working. I just started working on my third CD, mm -hmm. which I hope to have done by uh, summer or so of 99. And I also have a couple other little projects, some compilation tapes, uh, some compilation CDs in the works. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, yeah, I'm really excited about the next CD that I'm working on. Great. Um, I believe the next song you're going to play is yep. What Does Love Mean? What, yes, What Love Means. What Love Means. So here goes Mailbox telling us a little bit about what love means. Yeah, well, this, uh, this song is a song I learned hanging out in the uh, Mississippi Delta with the old blues men. Yeah. We're talking old blues men. They've been around the block once or twice or 300 times. And uh, they've been with these women, and the women done them wrong. And you hang around these people, and it rubs off. And you really, you really feel for them, you know, because they they've got to stand their ground, tell the women how it is. So uh, it's a little tribute to the old blues men. Uh, <laughs> Woo! Hope you dig it. It's called "What Love Means." Well, I know what love means to you, and I know what love means. To me, but they are more different than you may think. Cause I just don't love you that way. You just want to have my lifelong company. You just want to have. just want to be left alone. Is that too tough to see? But if you want to make me happy, you can just get on your knees. Then I will love you. Oh, yeah. Well, I know what love means to you. And I know what love means to me. But they 
are more different than you may think. Well, cause I just don't love you that way. You just want to have my lifelong company. You just want to have my little babies. Well, I just want to be left alone. Is that too tough to see? But if you want to make me happy, you can just get on your knees. Then I will love you. Ooh, oh, oh. Yeah, I could definitely feel the delta in that song. Oh, yeah, it brings you back, yeah, way back. It sure does. Well, listen, mm. what's the final song you're going to play for us today? Uh, the last song I'm going to do for you is called Everybody Out. And it's a, a song I wrote, geez, uh, quite a few years ago, just about how your mind can wander and you want to be another person for a little while. Um, kind of like, uh, if you remember uh, the story about Walter Mitty, I think mm -hmm. it was, it was uh, I'm sure you all got that in your English lit class, just how you're just drifting off in space and you're another person and then you come back. And then how you get this whole room full of people in your head and every once in a while you just go, okay, everybody out, you know, I got a, got a life to lead here. And uh, so that, that's pretty much the story behind Everybody Out. That sounds fantastic. I'd mm -hmm. like to thank you for coming in today. My pleasure. It's been a lot of fun having you. Mm -hmm. And I'd like to thank you, too, for joining us. This is Musicians Wanted, a National Broadcasting Society venture. If you have any questions about us, you can check out our webpage on www.emerson.edu slash nbs. Until next time, keep listening to music and keep having fun. Sometimes I need to imagine that the FBI is following me Guns and bugs and darkest shades Pig Latin codes on walkie-talkies Oh, sometimes, sometimes I Sometimes, sometimes I Sometimes I need to pretend that I'm a hero of war Who just wouldn't die They gather around to hear my tales From when I stormed the hill Where I lost my eye Oh, sometimes, sometimes I Sometimes I need to dream Everybody, everybody out.